he's 50 and he's in very good shape. Um, he had an AVM and, um, had surgery again last week to repair it, um, because it was still bleeding. So, um, anyway, so I'm excited for them. Um, you know, that they're all going to be taking it now. So okay. anyway, just, yeah. Well, you know, too, Monica, like to piggyback on that, right. You know, the, the old saying, you know, can't judge the book by the cover. Just because yes. somebody looks, I'll never forget that. We were in, uh, I was down in Atlanta, Georgia speaking at a chiropractic house. And I took some students out and I just wanted to prove to them, it sounds weird and not right to say, right? But um, what I mean is, is we were talking and I said uh, to them, I said, do me a favor. And there was like a bodybuilder guy. I mean, you, you know I mean, like no body fat, but like, right? Like lift the part. And um, they were like, um, I go, go up there and ask that guy if he's healthy. So they walk up and they say, hey, are you healthy? And he goes, of course I'm healthy. So they come back to the table and they tell me this. And I said, okay, now go back and ask him how many drugs he's on. Guy was probably 35. He was on five medications. But they think that they're healthy. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Guys, look at your histories in chiropractic offices and how many drugs people take. The average American, I think over 30, take three medications, guys. That's not including aspirin, by the way. I'm talking prescribed medications. Look it up. Every single person, like if I look back at my test, so what I would recommend, Monica, that person that texts you, save that testimonial, screenshot it, and put it in your Juice Plus testimonials. Okay. So you're creating, right? You're creating more information to build your understanding of the product and the belief. So you put those somewhere so you have them. Does that make okay. sense? Yeah. I mean, it, just for the reorder, I mean, it wasn't like a testimony. It was just... Well, no, no, but if you can get her to, to, I'm sorry, I thought she was texting you that. She, she just called you and told you that, right? But I'm saying if, if people text you, hey, this is going. Okay. She just sent right? me this. <laughs> One second. If, if you, like, when you go in, Monica, and somebody sends you a text back and you ask them, how are you doing? They tell you all these wonderful things. Scream. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Right? And save that in your notes. Yeah. Okay. Yep. That's awesome. Thank you for sharing that. Who else has some wins, guys? I have a win. I actually I have two. <laughs> um, well, it, I didn't even think about it till I was reading your article, Kenny, this, I th this morning about heartburn. And all summer I had heartburn really, really bad. It went away and then it came back in the summertime. And then I was thinking, I was, I was reading the article. I was like, I haven't had heartburn lately, you know? And so probably for about a good month, I haven't had it because I had it to the point it made me sick to my stomach. Oh. So it's those little things like that we don't we don't see until it's brought to our attention. So, you know, I once had that. Yep. And then my other win is that uh, Whitney wants to talk this afternoon. So I might be bringing in another partner. That's awesome. Man, let's cheer that on, right? <laughs> you know, guys. Yes. Like, so th th what you said, Kathy, is so important is awareness. Like, and I was mm -hmm. in boat as all of you guys, honestly, like I understood inflammation. I was doing keto and, you know, intermittent fasting and all these beautiful, wonderful things, right. Trying to bring down the inflammation. Well, how many people do you guys know they're going to go do the research to do that and study that? <laughs> Nobody. Like, I mean, like I'm a, I'm a goofball. You know what I mean? Like I really am right. Like, and you don't have to know the how, and you hear me say it all the time. Right. But enough things start to occur. And as Steve Jobs said, you can never understand your future looking forward and connecting dots, only looking back, right? And so these calls, these things, and bring into awareness, what that does, it opens up your mind. It takes your blinders off. And so all the things I was trying to do to reduce inflammation, and I had the easy button right in front of me. I literally had it and didn't even realize it. You know what I mean? And it's like cholesterol. I mean, all these things, like every one of you guys have a story, but you have to craft that story. You have, to, you have to make that story part of yourself because that's real, okay? Now, you might not have a story if you're just starting the product, and that's okay. Borrow, right? Are any of us on here eating the way that we should? Are you eating 10 and 15? You know what I mean? Start you today. Probably not, right? You know what I mean? And you're definitely not getting the variation, so that's okay. That's, that's where you go from. You just say, you know what? I wasn't eating this way. And the people that you love, you ever heard the term birds of a feather flock together? 
right? Well, guess what? If you're thinking that and you're doing that and you're rowing that boat, they're rowing in the boat right with you because they don't know any better either. You follow me? So just by that sharing, people don't connect those things. You know, and I have a couple topics. I think, Kathy, you have something, and I believe Misty has something, too, that we're going to share this morning, right? But I, I want to share something with you about the history of Juice Plus. Oh, we got some people in the way here. Sorry. So let me do this, okay? This is really, really important. So, and I'm holding here before you a golf ball, okay? Now, you might be asking, why in the world are you holding a golf ball? Okay, and let me see here. I don't know why it's doing that. I'm trying to get this whole screen. Perfect. There we go. So you might be wondering, why is the owl holding a golf ball? Well, the reason I'm holding a golf ball is when you understand the history of something, it's more meaningful. And so, and I'm going to tie this together, I promise. But when I went to Q school, I really get to learn about Jay Martin. Jay Martin is the founder of our company, um, NSA. And it started off, and what he did is he had a vision. See, people follow people a vision. That's why you have to create a story because that's your vision. And I promise you, your vision will expand and get bigger as you do this. Okay. Because none of us believe that we can be that superstar. We all start off right. And they always say that, you know, the little star, the little shots, just a big shot that keeps on shooting. Right. Okay. So what happens, Jay Martin was a teacher and he, he literally, he was like, I don't know how old he was. This was in 1960 something. And he went door to door in the summer selling pots and pans through direct sales. And he said he earned more money in that summer than he earned the whole year of, of, of being a teacher. And he thought, well, how, how can I help families gain another source of income? How can I help them get time to spend as a culture? Because he was already seeing the decline of that. Okay. You know, and so, and he kept asking that question and God doesn't ask you the how God wants you to decide what you want. The problem, the reason we don't get what we want, because we're focused on what we don't want. That's the law of polarity. So if you're not focusing on what you want, you have to get equal and opposite of what you don't want. Okay. And so what he did is he came up with an idea to inspire healthy living around the world. That's always been our mission statement, even before Juice Plus. And he started, they made it water filtration and smoke detectors. And so that they created that. And so then they came across Juice Plus. Now, the reason I'm sharing you the backstory with this is you have to understand the vision of what this man was trying to accomplish. And the reason I'm sharing this with you, my father shared this with me, this golf ball, okay, right here. Golf has been around for hundreds of years. I've never really wanted to partake in it. Um, not that I, I just didn't want to devote three and five hours of my life doing it, but there's so many lessons in it. And because I didn't know the backstory, my dad said, you know, the original golf ball is smooth and round. I was like, well, okay. And I started to think, well, isn't that like our life as children? Like we're brought in this world and we're perfect, right? And our parents want to put bubble wrapper on us. You know what I mean? And as Jesus said, give a man fish, he eats for the day. But if you teach him how to fish, guess what happens? You fish forever, right? And so what they started to realize when they would hit this ball, when it was smooth, that the more they hit it, it would start to create dimples on the ball. And what they realized, the more dimples, those were the experiences of life. You see, you'll see up here behind me, the yeses build your business, but the no builds you. Notice how that's all capitalized. The no builds you because what the no will do is it will lead you to know how if you stay persistent. This is what children do to you. They don't accept no. They think no means K and W how. They're going to ask you till they get what they want. Well, what happened is the ball kept getting more, you know, injuries and they kept whacking the thing and all the falls and the traumas, of the ball and all this stuff. And the more dimples that were added to the ball, it was once smooth and we thought it was perfect. They realized that those experiences, that part of the journey, not the destination of one hit, but the journey, all those additions, realizing what they found is the ball would go further and straighter with the more dimples the ball had. See, the only difference between the person that succeeds and the person that doesn't succeed is this. The one that succeeds continues to move forward. King Solomon said this in the Bible. He said, if you've never seen a piece of mine, gold or silver, you wouldn't know what you're looking at. It takes extreme heat and pressure to get to the bottom of the gold and silver. And just when, you know, you're getting those no's, 
change your approach. The goal never changes. If I'm trying to go to Kathy's house or Misty's house for Thanksgiving, I have to know where I'm at. I know where I'm at and I got to drive all the way up there or over to Kathy, right? Or whomever I'm going to. I have the end point in my mind. I can see the destination. Do you follow me? That's the goal. I don't pull out of my driveway and go, I'm going to see how it goes and we'll see where I end up. Like I'm never going to get there. You have to set targets. Now, that target going to Misty's is, I don't know, 15, 16 hours. So if I'm doing that, I'm going to have to make a lot of pit stops, aren't I? Well, oh, that's a dimple right there in that bowl. Well, God, there's another one. Well, I got to stop and eat. I got to get gas. Oh, God, life fell apart for a week. Whatever. It doesn't matter. It took me two weeks to get there. If I'm determined to get there, I'm going to get there. You guys follow me. And I keep pushing forward. I keep going. Each stop, that's one of the levels you got to climb up to get where you want to go in the business. It's all levels of awareness. Just like Kathy said, I didn't know that that could affect heartburn. Well, nor did anybody else, guys. And all these people are taking these drugs, right? And I'm not anti-drug. The funny thing about a drug is they take the chemical, uh, the plant extract anyway, and then they put it into petroleum because they own the petroleum. They alter the, the, the structure of it, and now they patent it, and now they can sell it. They own the patent. They're actually taking the active ingredient from the plant in the first place, <laughs> right? So if you ask people, I ask people simple questions. I say, do you think that that drug, does that drug, what's it talk about on the back of the drug? Does it talk about health and well-being or side effects and symptoms? And I let them answer, just like you guys are all nodding your head. I don't argue with them. I let them answer. And they're like, well, side effects, did you ever ask them why? why? Why side effects and symptoms? And they'll be like, no. I said, did you know the drugs are made from petroleum? And they're like, really? I said, look it up. They're petroleum based, as is much of the food that's in boxes. I said, now how can how can eating that, how could that possibly, right? How could that be healthy for you? So if we could put something into your body, they could help your body be stronger, they could reduce those symptoms. Would it make sense to maybe do that? What if we could just maybe get them stable? Or what if they did go away? Aren't we all kind of looking for that? Do you see how like I, I'm walking you through a story? Everything I do is a story. You have to think of where you're going. You have to have an endpoint in mind. And you have to realize every time you get your butt kicked, every time you get a dimple, that's strengthening you. <laughs> it's not weakening you unless you allow it to. If you're, if you're thinking, is stinking, right? If it's negative thinking, flip it, right? Like you, you gotta, you have to continuously put in the story. You gotta weave and build that story. That's negative. That's the positive, right? So you can look at those no's as though they're negative, or you can look at them as though they're positive, and they're just showing you how to get where you're trying to go. And once you build the story in your mind, the beauty of it, this guy down here, which controls your behavior, it doesn't know. It doesn't know if it's more vividly imagined. And up here, you can accept and reject. But here you can't. So once you once it's here, it's here. Mike, this is why you're like, I think I'm negatively programmed. Yeah, you are. As are we all. Because we're in a society that everything on TV, it's always negative. So if you're not paying attention and accepting and rejecting the ideas, it's all going into you. And you're not impervious to this. No one is. That's why they do it. They know they can tell you a drug commercial. Literally, the side effects and symptoms are worse than the freaking condition because you're programmed to take that. You follow me? So just be aware. And as you become aware, you can help people understand that too. Right? So the conscious and subconscious, this is the name of the game, guys. You know what I mean? So what we're trying to do here, and here, here's a question I always get. Well, I don't know anybody, right? You guys bring on team. Have you ever heard that? Okay, let's use this, right? Okay, so Steve, I remember this like yesterday. We're at Juice Plus, and Laura was doing her thing, and you were like, ah, yeah. And I said, Steve, do you know how the numbers really work? Because I hear all the time, I don't know a lot of people. Do any of you guys know five people on Facebook? Instagram? Maybe 10? Do you have 10 friends, neighbors? Okay. Would they all like to be healthier? Would they all like to look younger? Would they all like to make a little bit more money, maybe, if there was a possibility? Who wouldn't want to do that? Do you guys know 10 of those? Okay. Let's just do five. Let's say you're not as cool, so you just know five. 
right? I'm not a very cool guy, so I'm just going to say five. And so here's the five, right? I'm going to show you these numbers. So if you bring on five people, we bring them to the calls, we educate these people, teach them the value of the products and what the products are, the fruits and vegetables, and a kid gets it for free. Like, who doesn't want that? You can't even buy a head of broccoli for the price you can get a quad for, right? And you can try the shakes for free. And so we teach them this, and it's not what you do in Juice Plus or in network marketing. It's how you duplicate so we teach them really well. And then for, you bring on those five and then we teach those five really well what to do on these calls and all these things. We pour our heart and soul into it. And then that five, they teach five. They bring on five. So our second generation, we have 25 people all out sharing the product. That's pretty good. What if we teach this level how to bring five on? Those 25 each bring on five. The next level, we get 125, three generations down. And then the next level, they, that 125, we teach them and they bring on another one, five, it's 625 people. Now watch the multiplication. Now the fifth generation, if you teach that fourth generation how to bring on five, each person brings on five, you're at 31,000 and 3,105 people for a grand total of 3,906 people. It's not who you know, it's who they know, who they know, who they know, who they know, who they know. Now, what if, if these people, so how many people you guys know taking multivitamins, right? That have locking lids that we know are garbage. And if you eat too much, you got to go get your stomach pumped out, right? What mom and dad sign up for that? They don't know what to do. They're unaware. So what if we could get them just to just to do this instead of that? How many people you guys know doing whey protein, right? That is inflammatory, taken out of the Canadian food pyramid in 2018. The whey is garbage, by the way, okay? So if we could get them to get rid of that and put this in, would that make sense? Do you think we could do that? Now, if each of these people are worth $10 out of all those 3,900, here's the paycheck of that person. If you have the vision, you stay the course. Can you guys see that down there? Oh, here we go. $39,060 a month. All because you stayed the course. Now, would this take five years, 10 years? I don't know. It's different for every human being. But here's the key. In five, 10 years, what are you going to be doing? So if you work on your headspace, right, <clears throat> every day, in every way, and you get better and better, just a little bit every single day, you become a little more, oh, I didn't know I could do that. Wow, huh. And you plug in to something positive, like these calls, right? Instead of watching the news and all this other garbage, and you put in your mind what you wanted, do you think maybe over time you can create a different habit, a different behavior that's right here that would make you take different action to get different results like that? See, when you can see this, you see what happens? You know how I always go to the Karate Kid metaphor? I'm going to beat this in your guys' head, okay? So the you guys all know the Karate Kid. You've seen me do this, right? So at first, the Karate Kid's getting killed. He does not know that it's karate, right? He doesn't know what it is, and he doesn't know how to defend himself. And Mr. Miyagi jumps down, he saves the day, and he Oh, it's network marketing. Oh, I mean, Juice Plus. Oh, whatever, right? Insert the freaking thing, right? You become aware. Well, I didn't know, Kathy, that that could affect your blood pressure. Or you this or that, or, you know, your, your reflux, right? Wow, okay. Well, you still don't necessarily believe it because you've been trained for 50 years or 40 years to do one thing, guys. So what you have to do, space repetition over time, Mr. Miyagi starts training, right, the Karate Kid. And the karate kid doesn't know that he's being trained karate-wise, thinks he's being taken advantage of. And then he starts throwing punches and kicks and all this stuff, and he's blocking it all without even being told what to do, right, to get to the short of stick. And so he doesn't know that he's being taught karate. He doesn't know that he's learning mindset. He doesn't know he's being plugged into something positive in a community that can change his life. And, but it doesn't matter because it's occurring. These are the people that grow their business. They don't know how to grow their business. And they cannot bottle it up and give it to somebody else or they would. And so the true master gets here. They understand and then they understand how to do. Why is this important? When you can show people this, right? Right here, they don't know that there's a way out. They don't even know if they have a job. Just over broke, by the way, is what that stands for. 
because you can only get loans for what your value is and they know already what they're paying you for, right? And we think that's safe because that's what everybody does. And then corporate America comes in, they steal your job and what, right? Okay, and then they hire somebody outside to take your place, right? Yeah, I'm not signing up for that. But that's what everybody does because they've all been trained to do that in the subconscious level. Just like they've been trained to take drugs. And when you get a crazy idea, you're gonna do something, everybody's gonna come at you because you're negatively programmed and you can only attract what you are. If you don't stick the course and change the picture you want, you're going to fall. Okay. And everybody falls. It's okay. Just fall forward. Just keep getting up. Right. And so what happens? You become aware. You see a vision. See, this was you at Juice Plus. You're like, oh my God, I need to help her because you could finally see the numbers. You were aware, but you haven't changed that. So until you change that right there, the result doesn't change. You got to plant the seed. You got to water that sucker. You got to take care of it all, all, all the time. Okay. Now, how do we do this? How do we water the seeds? Well, the calls, the study, pulling out research, going to recordings, the ATM group that I'm going to let you guys talk about that we just created. I didn't create. I just had some ideas and Lisa and, you know, Kathy and Michelle all took that in a Misty. So, but I want you guys to listen to them and I'm going to use this model and explain it. So who would like to take the reins and explain our ATM group that we created? And think about this, guys. If you haven't done this yet, have you guys seen these packets? If you haven't got these, are you going to be around family and friends over the holidays? Right? Like, okay. So this is right here. They're 125 bucks for 90 packets. This is the children's health study. Here's how I introduce this to people. I take a bunch of these in my pocket. I'll have the parent at Thanksgiving Day try this. And I'll ask after I see the response on their face, they'll go, that's what I'm watching right here, where they behave. And I say, would your kid eat this? And they're like, well, yeah. I'll go, turn it over for me. So now I've got their attention. And I'll say, turn it over, and it tells you what's in there. Broccoli, parsley, tomato, carrot, garlic, all these things, right, that we all want our kids to eat, that we can't get our kids to eat, right? And I'll say, would, would your kid eat that once they see that? And then they agree. And then I say, okay, then I'll show them what's in there. And I'll say, do you know that your kid gets this whenever you take it for free up to four years? How many, how many people do you think you could get just to look at that and try that? So just by ordering that, that starts to get the ball rolling. Do you follow me? So I'll be quiet now and let you guys take over. So who would like to share the ATM group? Well, Kenny, I just want to pick you. Can I piggyback off of that real quick? Please. Anybody can. Um, so um, when um, Dr. Kenny was talking about, you know, who do we know and, and how many people do we know and reaching out to people and everything. Um, once I once I went through mindset training and stuff and I got my mind, you know, I knew where I was going. I knew what I wanted. I had goals. And so I would reach out to, uh, in my, in a, one of my other companies, you know, I would reach out to people that I didn't even know. And, um, when I reached out to someone, um, his name was Jim Packard and I didn't know anything about him at all. Cause he was a cold market person. And so, um, I reached out to him and, um, as we were talking on the phone, he, was a, he's an influencer. He's wrote a book in network marketing and we developed a relationship and he came on Great as a guy, customer. By the way. Great guy, by the way. Yeah. Sorry. No, it's okay. He came on as a customer in April. And so we kept, you know, I just kept that relationship open. We would talk every week or just text message or something. And then at the end of um, July, beginning of August, he said, uh, I was just checking you out to see what type of person you are, how you're committed to your customers, and if I would want to join under you. Because he said, I know this company that, that you're with. I know other people in it that, I, that have asked me already to join, and I didn't want to be under them. And so where I'm going with this story is that don't give up, even if they come on as a customer, don't give up, check on them. You know, this was not a this was not a product company, but still, I still kept that open relationship going for uh, 10 weeks, 11 weeks. 
And now he is my uh, goal mine in this business. He is just, he's bringing on other people, but not only that, he has brought other people in my life that was able to help me in different areas of my businesses that I'm doing now. And so that's why I say, don't give up. You know, like Kenny said, you're going to get no's, but look at those no's as I'm working. Because if you don't get a no, you're not working. So look at that is, you know, give yourself a pat on the back when you get a no, because you're doing something for your business and you're moving forward. Even if it's baby steps, you're still moving forward. So I just wanted to share that, Kenny, because I know I was once there before two years ago. And if I would get a no, I would freeze and I would take it personally. But now looking at the big picture, I, I don't. Right. And it's fun. You know, I lay in bed each morning saying, who do I get to talk to this morning? Because I have met so many wonderful people that way. And there is people out there that want this. We just have to find them. Yep. Um, and so now, you know, we, we got our hands on something good. So I just wanted to piggyback on that. I just want to give everybody encouragement, you know, just don't give up. You know, guys, you guys may see me and think, well, or, you know, I'm not trying to brag here. You know, you see me doing this and you're thinking, oh my God, well, you know how many knows I was holding chiropractic? Like I got the nose out of the way, man. <laughs> like, like, guys, I've heard it all. I mean, like it just, I just know in my heart when it's right, I just keep persisting. And it'll, Misty, same way. Misty used to get nose all the time. She would crumble, call me up, oh my God, I got a nose. Uh, now, I mean, she like loves the, and I'm not making fun of her. She loves the process. She's like, okay, well, that didn't work. How do we do it better? <laughs> like her whole mentality is totally shifted. That's the only thing that changed. The only thing. Am I lying on that, Misty? <laughs> oh, well, no, definitely would affect me um, when people said no before. And I think it. I went through, what I realized, I went through phases of understanding what that meant and how to handle it, I guess. So at the beginning, it would, it would defeat me a little bit. And I would start to question, like, is this really something I should be doing? You know, I don't know. And, and you would let, I would let that in. And now it bounces off because I know who I am. I know what this company is all about. I have a very strong belief system in what we do and why we do it. And um, so until you develop that belief, those mini attacks, those no's can get to you if you don't recognize them for what they are. So um, I think that definitely that has been part of my journey through this. Um, I think, yeah, I don't know if that's interesting. I was going to say too, I have a friend, she's uh, going for, to school right now to be um, a dietitian. She's getting ready to take her boards. And I have been talking with her about Juice Plus since we started the company because I knew it was her passion. Her nutrition is her passion. So I had a very interesting conversation with her last night and they came over to, um, to hang out. And she said, you know, Missy, I've just been thinking lately, I really need to try that Juice Plus stuff. She said, while I'm going through school, I'm hearing all of these negative things about companies just like yours. She said, they actually, there's people that have talked to me about Juice Plus in my company uh, or in, in my, um, in school. She said, but there's other people that, that really, that they have a really big problem with it because that's not what we do. We teach people how to eat food, not take some kind of supplement. And I said, I get it. I get it. But look at all these things. She goes, you know what though, after all of that, after all of that stuff that that's been like put into my brain, now I can look at it and go, I don't believe that, you know? And so I was really, really proud of her. Um, I was super excited too, because I've seen her go through those phases of, Ooh, no, someone told me this. I shouldn't, I probably shouldn't do that. And now she's thinking on her own. And I think that's just, you gotta stick with people. Like Dr. Kenny said, and like Kathy said, stick with them, love on them, um, show them that you're in it for the, for the right reasons. And people will continue to um, be drawn to you and your, your team. Yeah, and guys, it's a pro remember this, it's a process of us. What you're seeing outside of yourself, when you're honest with yourself, it's a reflection of your internal self. So I'm going to like boast a little bit on Misty because that woman was doing this because Misty was doing that. Now that Misty is more solidified, that draws. People don't follow people that waver. You have to understand that. Like, who would you want to be in a foxhole with if you were in a war? Somebody that's like, oh my God, up one second, down the next, or somebody that's stable in their foundation knows what they know, right? And that's a testament to the work you've done. You know what I mean? Like I can say that's not bragging. You know, it's in in what Ralph, what uh, Oscar Wilde said. He said 
he said, selfishness is not doing something one wants to do. It's asking others to do what you want them to do. Like our job is to make anybody do anything. Our job is to, to make them do something. We're responsible to them, to educate them, but we're not responsible for them, right? The easy button is this. How many people are going to eat 15 servings of vegetables and fruit today? How many people are going to do the homework to understand why? How many people are going to literally change their what they're eating daily to get what they're supposed to get? Who's going to do that? Hey, Kenny, yeah, in, uh, in, an, in our other company where we took like 13 products a day, people would come up to us because Lance, you know, Lance. Did you hear that? Up. They took 13 <laughs> products a day. And, How much uh, did you spend on that? Uh, we oh. spend it $1,100 a month. Between and you and guys, I hear all, it's expensive. Do you hear this? Okay, okay. So it's all them. in your head of what you think is, you know what's expensive? Is sickness. Sign up for a disease, that is expensive. I'm so grateful you're saying this right now because I'm well, so like, yeah. I want you guys to flip the script, uh -huh. right? Go ahead. Mich Michelle right. can relate to it too because Michelle was in the thing. But anyway, so the thing, the funny Did thing is- Did people buy it, Kathy? Did people buy it for 1100 a month? Um, no. 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 Well, they didn't. They didn't take as probably as much as we all did, right? So, I mean, I think I think I was one year about thirteen thousand. Okay. A year. So, yeah. Did you hear that? So, I just want you to. If, there, if there's people doing that, you can find people. You guys get that? Mm -hmm. Like, I'm not making fun. I just want you to realize, wow, they're doing that. I can, uh -huh. right? So, so the thing was, is that like, okay, like people would ask us. Like, you know, we would say, you know, we woke up this morning, you know, no pain, no aches or anything like that. So people would ask us that, well, what was, which product did you take? Well, we took so many. Good so job. we really couldn't pinpoint it. And then people couldn't afford to buy the big pack like we did. So we really didn't know. I mean, they kind of like all work together. And that's what we were taught in that company. It's not just one product. They all work together. Well, in this company, it's the quad, you know, in mm -hmm. period, in end of the sentence, it's the quad. And once you take that, then this is where you're going to, uh, this is gonna help you. But in the other company, we could never pinpoint which product. You know, they had them divided, but you know, it, we took this for inflammation, you know, this for inflammation as well, you know, this for uh, stomach issues, you know, and it was so many different ones. And with this product, I mean, I'm telling you guys, we got our hands on gold because four products, Four products. That's it. Right. And you can and add you other ones if you want, right? But yes, yeah, that's exactly. my bread and butter too. Right. Four basic products. And we don't, I mean, even in, even in our storage, you know, we're keeping them. We don't have all these bottles of stuff. When you travel, what do you take? You can throw them in your suitcase. You know, we had liquid stuff. And so that's. Oh God, you're, they're flagging you at the airport, right? <laughs> yes. Yes. <laughs> So you should have seen my travel bag whenever I would travel because I traveled a lot for work. I mean, I literally had like a bag full in my suitcase with everything that I brought with me. <laughs> mm -hmm. No, that was my and, lack of awareness. I didn't realize how few products we have and really how simple. Uh-huh. You know what I mean? Like, thank you for pointing it out because it, it is that simple. Yeah. And it was a mindset for me because I, I had the conversation with Lance before I started Juice Plus. I was like, Lance four products is not going to take care of me <laughs> four products is not going to take because i was set and i needed all these products and so lance was like cold turkey kathy cold turkey and we did it and i love it i well, love it now, so now kathy can go back because her positive feeling about it right and she can share with those other clients hey you know we have something really simple like it's only four things that we take right and it's in capsule and a child gets an order for free like and it's I mean, cheap. <laughs> yeah, and it's, what, yeah, I mean, right? I mean, not trying to cheapen them, but yeah, I mean, I don't even know how they can afford to do what they do, guys. Exactly. It's very reasonable. I mean, we got a raise coming to Juice Plus. <laughs> yeah, right? Huge, you know? Yeah. So you know, let me do, I'm going to screen share because I do want to, I want to show everybody this uh, ATM group, guys, that okay. you guys created, okay? Oh, sorry. Oh, sorry, guys. So this is what it looks like. Can you guys see it okay? Nutrition on the go made simple. 
And so you guys, want, would you guys like to go ahead and explain like what this is and what it's for? I can talk about it. Yeah. So um, the ATM, it stands for ad tag message, right? And what this is for is for us to bring in prospects, anybody who's interested in perhaps the products or the business side. And what we're going to have in here is just different videos, um, informational uh, messages, testimonies, things like that to where um, you can invite them in and they can start seeing this. And you're basically what we call dripping on them. So as a new post comes in, they see that, maybe it's relatable to them. And so it's really for customers, whereas our other group is for, you know, Team Prosperity is just for those that are in the, in the business. This is for prospects um, to be able to start seeing some information. Um, and what you can actually do, the reason why it's called ad tag message is, which it really should be ad message tag, but whatever. <laughs> so you add them into the group, right? You message them and let them know, hey, I just sent you, a, I just sent you an invite, right? And once they accept, then you tag them on a video that's relatable to something that you know that they're having issues with inflammation or, you know, maybe they have a child that, you know, is, is having some, some issues. You can tag them in the video Dr. Kimmy has regarding the, the gummies. So you look at what's in there and you're able to, to tag them with something that's relatable to them. And so we're going to continue to um, build this, add additional information. Um, and so as you are prospecting with people and talking with people, then what you want to do is say, hey, I have this group and you can, you can take a look at it and see a couple of different things that maybe will help you. And then you just add them to the group. And so our goal really is to build this group huge, right? Really, really big. I'm talking thousands and thousands of people. And so from that, people are going to see more testimonies. People are going to see more information. Um, and from that is where, you know, you, you end up getting people who are on the fence for a while who end up becoming your customers or even your business partners. Yeah, because just like what, what this is doing, remember what Kathy said earlier about dripping on Jim? These people are going to come in here and they're going to see all this. And they're going to see all these testimonies come from different people, this and that. And they're just watching the results. And eventually they see enough and they jump, they act. It basically over time, with this positivity, it puts it in their heart of hearts. This is where you behave. This is where you act from. Is once you put them here. And they'll take the action steps to do it. So, you know, when they get in there, you guys should also comment on these things that I did. When you do yes. that, right, it starts getting their algorithm up. People will see it when they pop in. And, and what's really important, what Michelle said, if you're following someone on Facebook and you see, you know, they're posting a lot of the same issues, like maybe flu stuff right now, whatever, right? Hey, you know what? I would message him. You may even audio message him, right? On Messenger on Facebook. I've been doing that thing you guys taught me last week about birthday messengers. And I call them the next day uh, on Facebook Messenger. Hey, you know, man, hello, hello, hello. That's my tag, right? And I'm like, hey, this is Dr. Kenny. I just want to wish you a happy belated birthday. God bless you. Hope you have a blessed day. And people just, it's crazy. They love it. It's crazy. Like, right? So my point is, message them. Let them hear your excitement about this group. Hey, you know what? I've been watching you. I've been seeing some things on you. I don't know if this is a fit, but this is a group that we're in. I, I'm going to invite you. You might want to check it out. There might be some answers in here for you. We have recipe. We have all kinds of things that I think may be of value to you or something in that regard, right? We're going to do recipes, videos, this and that. Check this thing out. You know what I mean? And then they get in the group and they start seeing hundreds and thousands of people freaking posting and doing this and doing that. And it creates more credibility in their mindset, guys. That's what we're trying to do with this. So it's a way. We really, to I'm sorry. No, go ahead, Michelle. Sorry. I, I didn't mean to cut you off. I was going to say, we really, really want you guys interacting too. So it's really important that you're engaging, that you you can share posts in there as well. If you get a testimony, share it in there. Um, if you find some good information, share it in there. You comment on other people's posts. We really need that interaction from everybody in there so that people who are in that group are constantly seeing things move in the group and it's not stagnant. Absolutely. And obviously be moral and ethical. You know what I mean? Like don't, you know, don't make stuff up. You know what I mean? I know you guys are not those kind of people, but as we grow this thing, 
if you see people doing stuff like that, kick, we'll kick their rear end out. Like I don't blame mm -hmm. it, but you still mm -hmm. reach. So if you put garbage mm -hmm. out, you're gonna get garbage back. Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. I, I truthfully mean yeah. that. So and don't say that these products are curing you. You got to put that statement to it. I don't know the exact language, right? But there's a statement to put at the uh, end of your uh, uh, post about if you Let say. So I think I have it, Kathy. I can put it in the chat. Oh, good. I'd love to. Have that, by the way. Yeah. Yeah. I just want to let everybody know as well. I just invited everybody on in this um, in this Zoom call. So if you didn't have access to the page before, you do now, except for Kristen. I don't know if I have you on Facebook as a friend. So if you were my friend on Facebook, I did invite you, Patty. I invited you as well. Um, Thank you, Missy. You're welcome. So it is a private group. Nobody can get in unless they are invited in. So that's an important piece. And we made that decision for, for a specific reason. Um, so uh, if, who can invite Kristen? Who is she? I can. Oh, perfect. Kathy's got you, Kristen. Um, so we'll get you all invited in there. We're also going to be adding content to the different units on the page. The only reason we have units is to keep us organized, right? So if you're looking for something specific, it just gives you a much um, easier way to find it instead of having to search through the whole page um, and all of the feed. So you'll be, um, please take a look at the units. We don't have, I don't think a lot in there yet, but we are gonna be adding good content to those units. So you can tag people within the unit um, that you're looking for. So for instance, we're gonna have a tower garden unit. We'll have a bundle unit, things like that. So. Um, it'll be a great way to find information very easily. Also recipes too, right? I think Misty, was that one? Yeah. 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 Recipes is great. Yes. Especially with the holidays coming up, mm -hmm. you know, you could even go live in there. If you're doing a recipe, like on a Saturday and you want to show it to, you know, the group and people coming into the group, do a live in your kitchen, you know, have someone uh, record you while you're doing that. And that's really cool when people can see it with hands on and step by step. Absolutely. Yeah. Just value, right? We're just trying to give value to people. That's all. Hey, when Kenny. You, can, yeah, go ahead. Can you flip over to the Healthy for the Holidays Facebook event so oh. people can see that too? Uh, so please feel free to um, invite people. This is something else we're doing right now. It's Healthy for the Holidays. We're going to be going live Wednesday evening. Um, I'll be adding a little bit of content, some questions just to engage people a little bit, but invite people. We're really inviting them for the event. And the whole event is going to be about Shred 10. Um, we're going to be adding some recipes in um, to the group. So I'm going to be looking for those today to add in. That's um, not it, is it, Miss? What's that? That's not it, is it, huh? Can you see it? No, it has the number four, healthy, and then the number four. Uh, uh, my bad. Yeah. Um, it doesn't look like messy. <laughs> <laughs> right. It might. You might have to go to my page. It's an event that I'm putting on. It's not a page. Is that it right there, Helen? Yes, that's it. Yeah. So invite people to this page to come to the event. They're going to learn about the Shred 10. They're going to learn about some healthy tidbits and, and hacks um, for the holidays and try to, to get themselves in, in a better place. But they're going to learn the why behind Shred 10 about shredding those bad habits. So Dr. Kenny and I will be going live for that and um, I'm excited for it. So please invite away, invite as many people as you want. And then of course, we're gonna encourage them to get with the person that invited them to the group if they have any questions and would like to, to order any of, those, any of those products to get them going on, on a healthier holiday um, food binge. <laughs> so, I'm not gonna any, binge over Thanksgiving, what are you talking about? <laughs> any questions about that? Hey, uh, Misty, since you got that open, do you want to show everyone how to pin their group? So when we go live in there or something's going on, they'll get notifications to that? You know what? I don't know how to do that. That would be great if you want to do it. Uh, yeah. If you click these three buttons up there at the top to your right and see what happens. Okay, it's different on your phone because on your phone, when you click those three buttons right there and then a screen's gonna pop up and it says pin group. And then I pin all my groups like that, that, I'm, that I wanna keep up with. Oh, okay. So they'll pop up in my notifications and then I don't have to go searching for it when something new has been posted to it. And then that helps us to go and comment on the post uh, when we see that something new was posted in, the, in that group, so. Awesome. Okay, so you're saying when I post something, if you pin this page, this event, then you, it's because it's not a group, it's an, an event. Um, no, no, I was just saying like maybe like with the um, ad tag message group. 
Oh, the ad tag message group. Yeah. Right. Since you have Facebook open already, you know. Gotcha. Is there a way to do that for the event? Do you know, Kathy? I don't know if it's, I would think so. Let me, let me go and look at my phone. And then I think Laura was going to share a little bit with us today too about um, bundles and there's um, a bundle um, blitz that, that Beth has put together. So that's on Facebook as well. And there she, she's been um, part of a group that have been working on um, bundle blitzing, text messaging people or messaging people in Messenger, asking some really key questions and, and um, gaining interest there too. So if we have time, we I would love to do that um, with Laura as well. You may take the share off. Sure. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah, absolutely. Well, guys, while she's looking that up, who has, does anybody have any questions about this? Like what we've kind of covered, you know what I mean? And, and how to look at things, questions, you know, anything whatsoever. You understand the ad tag message group and what that's going to do? Mm -hmm. So for the ad tag message group, are we should we be inviting all our current customers right now mm -hmm. to give them? Yeah, because it's building a belief system, Laura. Right? More exposure, absolutely. And they have a choice to, to join, right? Like, think about this: when you're watching TV, you don't have a choice on commercials. The drug company just throws it out there. You know what I mean? This, you invite them, they can say no, or yeah, I'd love to. Hey, would you be open to learning more, you know, uh, about recipes and some things that we're doing health-wise and all this, you know, throw it in that way. You know what I mean? And then, then they come in and they see all the other stuff. Wow, that does make, wow, I didn't realize that that would affect that. Well, you know what, Bobby's doing that. He's having that issue. I wonder if this would help him. This <laughs> I mean, that, that's where it all goes, right? Add people in once you make new connections. So when you're talking to that cold market and you you make a new connection with somebody or even your warm market and anybody, you talk to them, this is a fantastic follow-up. So you say, hey, you know what? Is it okay if I add you to this group? I think you'd find a lot of value in it. There's a ton of information. Um, once you accept the invite, then I'll tag you in some things I think that would interest you based on what we've talked about today. That gives them more value, right? So you're going to be reinforcing what you said with someone else's words, with another article, with something like that. So that's really, really powerful. If they so, don't, if they don't know you, that. Missy, thank you. If they don't know you, right, you have to gain their trust. And, and so by doing that, you do that through giving them value. So if you know that they're a mom and they got little kids, what struggle do you guys have as mothers? Trying to get food in your kids, trying to have time in the day, right? You know what I mean? So if, if you can give them something simple, right? Hey, here's something that I do as a mom and I work and this and that and all this, you know, and I found it was very helpful. You know, would you be open to take a look at this? Here's the invitation. If you are, hop on in. If not, no worries. I mean, just stop and think like them. Look from their perspective, their point of view. Don't look from your own. Like use your own to understand where they might be, but try to look at it from where they're at. That's how you add value to people. Misty, you can't add uh, for the event, but uh, any other groups, you know, we can pin, but uh, I'll let, you know, go ahead, Laura, because I know you wanted to talk. Okay, so- oh, I'm sorry, uh, Laura, I didn't realize that. Oh, no. So um, I happened to across um, a pod, uh, thing from Beth Leopold, and she is doing something. I'm looking at it. It's called Bundle Texting Blitz. It's what we used to do Saturday mornings where we would blitz out a, a, a message to people. This is about the bundles that we've launched in Juice Plus. She thought it'd be a really cool way to get information out there. So it's actually, it's Bundle Texting Blitz. If you find it on Facebook, you can join it. They have really good tips in there and she actually has the scripted already messages to share. So she has it for your current customers, for new customers, for past customers who have tried the products before. And it's a really good um, site that they're using. So just an example, 
how they're doing it. They're saying something to the effect, hi, Mary, I hope things are going well. I know you showed some interest in the Juice Plus product before. Um, just wanted to let you know we have eight new bundles. And what they're doing is saying, so if you could pick two of the eight, which two would interest you? And then I could shoot you over two videos. I would love your input. And for giving me your input, I'm gonna do, um, they're doing a raffle on December 1st. You could pick any day you want for an Amazon gift card. So it's a way to get people to look at the new bundles, to respond to you, which to interest them, and then to watch a short video and then give input. And then they've learned and you're rewarding them by giving them, doing a raffle. I said on mine that I'm gonna go live on Facebook and pull the winner of the bundle that way. And I already had, so one example, I have a customer who quit doing it. She's actually my dental hygienist. I sent her out a message and she said, you know, Laura, I'm not interested in Juice Plus at all. And I'm like, oh, yikes. I sent that message to Misty. I'm like, how do I even respond? So I told her, she said, but if it would help you, I'd be willing to do it. So I responded in a way, said, yeah, it would be great. I'd love your input. I value your opinion. And then I mailed it out to her. Still haven't heard back, but I'll follow up and see, you know, which two she liked. And then they're keeping track actually of the two that are stirring the most interest just for our own, you know, information. So it's a really cool tool. If you have the time and you want to, you already have it scripted, you can do it. You should maybe even talk. I didn't realize, Laura, I apologize you have that to share. Um, so anytime, if, if I'm blind to that, when we start the calls, guys, say, hey, I have something I want to share too, and I'll know that. And then I can make sure we leave time for that. But I think that's extremely valuable. And maybe you could even speak a little more on Tuesday night, if you wouldn't mind. Like after, would that be cool? And then guys, also, if you want to welcome uh, Kristen and Victoria, this is their first time. So thank you guys for hopping on and stuff. I know you guys are busy moms and got like 12 kids a piece or something, right? <laughs> or it just feels like 12. My mom felt like she had 12 when she just had me and then she had my brother. So it was like 24. <laughs> um, <clears throat> hey, Kenny, can I, I wanted to, um, is everybody watching the Zoom like on your computer where you could pull your cell phone out yeah. and then I'll show you how to pin? Yeah, please. Okay. So if everybody would go to team prosperity page on your, on your phone <clears throat> and just tell me when you get there. You said Team Prosperity? Mm -hmm. Yeah, we'll just go. I'll just do that one. And then y'all can go back and do all your other ones like that. Okay. So, uh, it's, so it's kind of, sorry, while they're getting there, it was kind of funny, Laura, that you're doing that because um, that's exactly uh, what I'm launching for next week um, for my agenda is the, yeah. uh, the Blitz. So, awesome. Had to throw mm -hmm. that in there. Awesome. Awesome. So when you're at that page, when you're on your Facebook, when you're on Team Prosperity page, up to your right-hand corner, you're going to see three dots. Y'all see that? Click those three dots. I see a big star and a shield, top right corner. Okay. When you click those three dots, a box is going to pop up that's going to say tools. And you're going to, you see the second button and it says pin group. Pin, pin, use that and then you pinned it so now every time Dr. Kenny goes live in there or post something or Misty or uh, whoever it's going to pop up on your notifications so I have I use I pin my pages that's most important to me that I want to be interactive in and be you know be able to comment daily so that's exactly how you do it and then go to all your groups and pin all your groups like that. I can't find it on mine. I can't find it on mine either. I have the shield and then I have the search, the yeah. search, just like Kenny's. Yeah. Mm. Who, who's found, did anybody find it? Yes. Yeah, <laughs> okay. Yeah. I found, I found it, Kathy. <laughs> see, I got okay. it. It's the three dots at the upper right hand corner. Yep. Okay. Press the shield. Yeah, okay. go ahead and press your shield. Yeah, that's isn't that it? Okay. Um, are y'all, but your admin's on there. Are you admin in there, Misty? That's why. I am. So it's going to oh, come okay. up anyway. Okay. 
Oh, uh, okay, okay. Yes, yes. So you're an admin on that. So um, yeah, good. I didn't know that, that. Now I can tell people. <laughs> <laughs> so, but anyway, so that's exactly how you pin your groups. Simple, easy, simple, and then uh, like I have everything like uh, paradigm climbers and all of that. That's all pinned like that, and so I know exactly when somebody is posting anything in in those groups like that. So that's just a little cool little way to stay in contact with them. No, that's awesome. Thank you. Guys, great call so far. Anybody else have any questions about anything? Remember, what story are we telling ourselves, right? We're always listening. Patty, did you have something? I'm sorry. Well, I was just going to say in the beginning, um, I just started, I got my products and I started taking them. And my biggest, my biggest excitement is my, both of my boys, they never take, they don't, they don't take anything. They've been taking gummies, the ones, you know, the, the twist cap that you can't get off that are childproof. So they don't know anything different, um, but they want to be big boys. So they now, my 13 year old, he literally, I have them all, the quad. So he is, and they're, you know, they're big. They can't believe how big they are. Right. But, um, <laughs> and so we all like had this, I had this, we all sat around and we practiced. Um, and my, my little one actually broke it up. He didn't like the taste. And I said, no wonder you don't, that's not going to taste good in water. So I hit it in a smoothie. So he did get it inside of him. So, <laughs> but the next day we practiced with taking the capsules because they've, they've never taken any pills ever, which I thought about it. And that's a win in and of itself because I've, they don't, they don't take anything right. like medicine. Mm -hmm. um, anyway, so they're big and they, we, we all sat around and they practice big glasses of water. Do you need another glass of water? Um, <laughs> but it was, it was, and, and my husband wasn't home because I knew he would have had something to say. And are you sure? Is this good? You know, so right. I'll, we can talk to him later about that, but um <laughs> You know, Patty, here's something. But it, that was it was really exciting. I was so excited. Oh. And then now he's coming down on his own, the one, and he's got it all spread out and I see him taking it. So anyway. That's awesome. But here's <laughs> something too. I learned this at Q school. So when you elevate up the company ladder, they fly you down to Q school and you get to stay at the Peabody Hotel, this historic hotel where the ducks come out of the pond and stuff, right? They, they take care of you and they take you to the facility where they, they ship it all. And one of the ladies there I met, her dad helped start the company. She was just awesome. And there was 19, no, 62 employees working in 95 degree heat. And their average work term there was 19 years. That's how much they love the company, right? And she taught me this. Those capsules, we don't put filler in the capsule. Mm -mm. So what happens when you swallow these guys? Watch me real quick, okay? What we tend to do when we take a pill, we go like this. Yeah. Keep your chin down as you swallow it because those float. And when you go like this, they float and they get stuck in the back of the mouth. So when you keep your head down, they go down. Oh. Yeah, just, I would have never thought that. But well, see, I'm going to tell my younger one that. That's good. Yeah, because what they'll do is when you put filler in things, they would sink. And so Juice Plus is just literally, they don't put, they put the most microscopic amount in. So if you ever open the capsule, you'll see that they clump. Okay, if you don't do certain things, so they'll put just a little bit of these plant fillers in at time so that it doesn't stick and coagulate. Mm, the mm. so, yeah, that's good. Thank you. Yes, ma'am. <laughs> Anything else, guys? This is awesome. Now remember, hey, next, can, yeah. can, I, can I share something off off topic? Please. Totally off topic. Please. As being a parent, um, so because this has to do with mindset, but it's totally it's not health related. But I want to share a proud parent moment. <laughs> yesterday, <laughs> yesterday, my daughter bought her first car. And so she went down and bought her first car. And uh, she really needed her payments to be 275 because she was already figuring the insurance. Okay. And so they came back and they said, we can just, we can do 380. So, but they said, we're going to call you into the business office. Cause I was walking her through the phone a little bit, helping her. So she said, mom, I need my payment to be 275. What do I do? I said, I want you to write it in your palm of your hand, 275. And I said, you just look at that number 
and look at it and look at it and look at it. Well, then they called her into the finance office and they were going over, um, cause it was a brand new car. So they were going over the, Warranty. the warranties and everything. And she said, I was just, just looking at it. And so the lady said, oh, okay. So I just want to go over your monthly payments. They're going to be 270 a month. And London was like, it, she goes, my whole payment for everything? And she goes, yes. So she manifested Good. that 270. I mean, I just, I know it's totally off subject, but I'm so proud of her and her 24 years old and she bought her own car and I was walking her through it over the phone because she's in Dallas, Texas and we're three hours away. But I just thought, you know, that she has the power. And I remember when she was five, she was tested and gifted and talented and, um, they told us, they said, you got, what they say? They said, you, she's going to be um, lots of, um, I mean, she's, she's going to be not a lot to deal with, but she's going to be very powerful in life. And it's just, Happy she's week. the one with the 11, 11, you yep. know, mm -hmm. her birthday is August 11th. And so I was just, I mean, I get goosebumps now thinking about it. And she was so excited. She goes, I manifested it, mama, your stuff works. Hey, Kathy. <laughs> Look up in the Bible, Habakkuk 22.2. Every one of you guys should look that up. One of my favorite verses. And mm -hmm. you, 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 uh, you do that until it's scriptured on your heart. That's why God always spoke the word. He said, mm -hmm. basically make the word part of you. So when you're in one of those tumultuous downturns, the word will protect you. The word will always guide you. Before God yeah. could speak, God had to think. We're made in uh -huh. his image. So before you say something, even if you're not thinking, you're still thinking. It's already in you. So just change what's in you. <clears throat> That's awesome. Thank you for sharing that. What's yeah. 22.2? 22. Yep. Habakkuk. <clears throat> Habakkuk. Yep. But I just thought, you know, I, I view y'all all as family. And I wanted to share it with somebody. No. And I thought, you know, I want to share this because she is thrilled. I mean, she is just so thrilled and she's very mature and everything for 24 and she was just you know that's just, where you just say hey what can you do next now right if you did it yes with her, oh, right? exactly like, yeah, absolutely mm -hmm. awesome. so i was very very proud proud mom you know <laughs> you should be absolutely you gotta be proud of you kathy because if you hadn't told her to write it in her palm she wouldn't have done it like that was you knowing and being aware so uh -huh. kathy moment too Yep. Yeah. And now what'll happen, Kathy? Now what'll happen because you showed her that? Now she's more likely to come back to you for more advice. Mm -hmm. so you're providing yep. value, right? Even though we don't see it, we love each other, right? But you're giving her that value, and she will start. Mm -hmm. to, she'll start to mm -hmm. see. Mm -hmm. that. Yeah. Not so anybody want to hear that? It was off topic, but I thought <laughs> kind of shared. It was in my heart. <laughs> I love that story, Kathy. And I think you know if we think about what we do and what we teach our children and the people around us and, and everybody we get to meet and, and talk with and network with and share this with, that's what we're doing. We're helping to shape the way they see the world. We're helping to shape the way they think. And when you can do that for your kids um, and you can turn that around and go, I can do that for other people too. It's mm -hmm. a really gift. And I love that story. I do. I, I think we, we are, we, we are leading by example, right? You're, you're doing this in your life and it's working for you. You share that with your daughter and that is something she will take with her forever. She'll never forget that story ever. You know, guys, think about like, look at how you guys all, we all feel right now, right? Who do you know that's perfect for this? Community? Everybody, everybody. So just, that's what I want you to think about, right? Think about it, write it down, put it in your mind. Bring them the group because they all, everybody needs this. Everyone needs this, not just for the, the product, but for the headset, you know, the mind, all those things, right? Mm -hmm. They need that. So just want to leave with that, right? Anything else you may get to uh, offer? Well, we'll be meeting next Saturday since it's Thanksgiving weekend. We'll still meet, right? Yeah, I'll meet. Absolutely. Okay. Yeah, I love this group. It starts my whole weekend off on such a positive note. I just, it's great, 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 great. Can't wait till we can all meet each other in person. Absolutely. It's going to be a lot of fun. <laughs> Conference, right? Conference. Absolutely. Awesome. Yeah. April, April. So excited for that. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. If anybody needs anything, 
reach out to me. I'm available. You know, Patty, I know you and I spoke. You know, I think Diana was the same thing. Kristen, if you need anything, Victoria, you guys let me know. Do you need me doing any lives? Let me know that too. I'd be more than help, happy to help you guys with that stuff too, like I've done with Michelle and Misty and other ones too. So, just Do y'all notice that Michelle is me? Look at Michelle's name. I don't know why Michelle got me. Did you send her your link? No. Wait, I'm logged in as you, Kathy? Yes. <laughs> you know what? No, you know what, Kathy? You sent it to me a couple of days or a couple of weeks back and I put it into my calendar. So that's probably why. Okay. <laughs> so your, your child's buying a car for $270? Uh, no. <laughs> no. I feel like a polygamist. What did she get? She got a uh, test. No. Tucson. She got a yeah, 2021 Honda. Hyundai Tucson. Tucson. Awesome. You got to yeah. take me for a ride in that car. That's right. I can't wait to see it this weekend. <laughs> Hey, you guys have a great day. Like, you too. And keep inspiring others, man. Like you inspire people. Love you guys. Y'all have an amazing weekend. Uh -huh.